Welcome to the realm of fantastical mayhem, where the humdrum laws of coding are tossed into the fireplace and you're flung headfirst into the loony bin of programming pandemonium. Today, we embark on our journey with Django version 5, a loop developer with a peculiar fondness for muddy puddles. Here's an image for you, a puddle of mud. But oh wait, this isn't your run-of-the-mill garden variety puddle of mud. No, it's a magical reality-defying no, it's a magical reality-defying puddle of mud of mud that shoots out coding challenges like a popcorn machine on overdrive. Our whimsical tale commences with our main man Django, ostensibly having an ordinary coding day, encountering this beguiling puddle of mud of mud. Unable to resist the muddy allure, he dives into the puddle, sparking a code catastrophe, as every splash triggers a fresh adrenaline-infused coding conundrum. As the dust settles, Django revels in the chaos, echoing his giddy wee across the programming planes for a full four seconds. Hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen, this ride. When Django first made the acquaintance of the peculiar puddle, he didn't know what a whirlwind of chaos awaited him. His initial encounter with this body of water was an amusing one. Just a rookie coder then, Django was wandering about the park with his nose buried in a book on JavaScript. Absorbed in the world of loops and functions, he was oblivious to the path ahead. Suddenly, with a loud squelch, he found himself ankle-deep in mud. What was that? A puddle! He had walked right into it. Little did he know this was ordinary puddle, but a cheeky piece of code lying in wait for an unsuspecting coder. As he now grapples with the puddle, his inadvertent action triggers an endless loop of absurd activities. Well, true! Splash! a command that hurls him into a whirlwind of ceaseless splashes and bewildering prompts. Every attempt to break free from the loop only pulls him deeper into the pandemonium. His reality is distorted by a barrage of nonsensical prompts. If muddy, then splash. He finds himself trapped in a wild dance with unpredictable fragments of code. Yet, amid the uproar, there comes a revelation to our hero, Django. An idea so wild, it just might work. Why wrestle against the insanity why not tenderly accept the ludicrous nature of it all and morph every repeated prompt into an artful spectacle? So, Django, with a chuckle and a smirk, plunges headlong into the chaos, turning each prompt into a riotous joyride. After all, if you can't beat the madness, might as well join it and have a laugh, right? Django's decision, bizarre yet brilliantly entertaining, proves there's a method to his madness indeed. As we approach the climax of our expedition, Django pops up from the puddle, soaked to the bone but filled with wisdom. Sometimes, he muses, you need a smidgen of anarchy to decipher the insanity, and on occasion the superior code doesn't originate from clean, crisp logic. Instead it's born out of the chaotic ignited by a well-placed wee, he chuckles, adding, kind of like making a salad in a washing machine, right? One big spin and suddenly you've got a recipe that's far more exciting than anything you could have planned. So, if you ever find yourself in a thrilling whirlpool of coding, remember Django's delightfully escapade. Perhaps a dash of the bizarre is precisely what you need to infuse some structure into the frenzy. Until our next digital rendezvous, keep thought process fluid, your coding unpredictable, and never forget to tightly seal those brackets. After all, a closed bracket keeps the bugs. So dive headfirst into the coding pool, but remember, it's the splashing that makes it fun. Until next time, folks. As we take a short pause from our journey, let's commemorate Django's distinctive tradition. Watch closely as he plunges into the puddle, not just once, but seven times altogether. Each plunge, a different tone echoes in this symphony of splashes, from low to high, soft to loud, slow, slow to rapid, and concluding with a tone so exceptional, it defies any labels. Each splash symbolizes Django's unpredictable spirit, nudging us to embrace the unexpected in our own coding odysseys. Ultimately, triumph is not merely in our coding skills, but also in our ability to adapt, innovate, and compose our rhythm in the midst of chaos. Until we meet again on this coding path, keep your codes crisp, your splashes spontaneous, and your creativity unlimited. And as we sign off playfully, remember the three golden rules. Keep coding, keep splashing, keep creating. Until next time, happy coding.